Okay, in this video we're going to implement a slightly more advanced uh, flow uh, which allows us to edit the rating field and the description field and we can see how the interaction occurs between the flow and, and what's going on in the screen because it will actually cause it to do a, a refresh of the screen as the, one, once the flow has edited the record. So as we've been doing, let's start off with a look at the flow itself. We've got this flow called Rating Update. I'll keep that on my clipboard for a bit later on. And this flow, like all the others, is passed in the record that the user is looking at through a uh, flow S object variable. And uh, it's going to uh, use uh, some uh, techniques to display the uh, pick list value of the rating field and uh, just the description value of the description field to the user. Uh, there is actually some um, nuances to how you achieve that with uh, pick list fields in Flow and uh, there's a great blog that I'll reference that I found from a, from a community member that uh, helped uh, help me along the way with uh, getting that up and running. So essentially those are the two fields that we're looking at and then we'll be doing a record update uh, once, uh, once the user clicks next. It's going to update those uh, two fields, the rating and the description based on the ID of the, uh, the flow record passed in. And uh, when uh, all of that is done, we will uh, minimize the... Uh, the uh, utility bar and refresh the uh, the screen. So we're using the flow tb underscore event uh, parameter uh, variable. And if you pass in that particular uh, string there, which is a, a lightning event name, uh, this one doesn't require any parameters because it will just literally refresh what is on the screen. Then it will cause the screen to refresh, which will make sure that the user is looking at the latest values. Uh, from what the flow, from from the, what the changes the flow made, and uh, then it will minimise things. So let's uh, make that change to the custom metadata type uh, to point it to this flow rather than uh, any other. So let's name to count flow two, and then we'll uh, refresh to make sure it picks up that change, and then we should see. Uh, that flow UI appear in the uh, utility bar at the bottom here via the dynamic flow component. So sure enough it's picked up the values off the record and um, we can change that now to, to warm if we wanted to and change the description. As soon as we hit next you can see updates to warm and description has changed as well. If we open up the utility bar, it's reflecting that. So this is an example of how you can use the finish phase of a flow to do things in Lightning Experience, such as refresh the UI so that the changes that are made in the flow are automatically reflected in the UI.